Hello, hello, hello. So, today I wanted to just create a quick little animation using Blender and Embergen. So I created the Fire Spirit from Frozen 2. Not the normal content I would create, but uh, come on, he's cute. So it's a really simple animation with shape keys and a very simple model. And let's uh, get into it. Let me know if you enjoy the format. Um, it's a very quick sped up thing. Um, if you want me to show things in more detail in the future, let me know in the comments. So as you can see, it's a very simple wireframe, just uh, basically an extruded cube with some spheres for eyes. So basically I just take the default cube and I extrude out the tail and the head and then just reshape it and then using the uh, bevel vertex and extruding I create the legs um, and then I knife out the mouth I don't think that's the best way to do it I did it give me some trouble with the topology but I wasn't really worrying about that stuff I made sure that I split it down the center so that we can use the mirror modifier to just work on one side of the model and have it replicated on both sides which helps for modeling and then I extrude and bevel out some eye holes and then just add some loops with control R to add more detail so I can reshape things. Um, bevel out the edges of the mouth so that we can add some shape there and then just sort of reshaping it and then adding some spheres for eyes and just trying to make the shape seem like the actual character. It took a little bit of a while to get it right. But once I got there I, th I think it looked pretty good. I just split it up into different materials for the tongue and the eyes and stuff. I do end up using just one material, but it helps to just check out the colors and stuff as we go into sculpt mode and refine the shapes a little bit. So I just subdivided it and then start using the sculpt tool to just refine the details and the shapes. I use the grab tool a bit to um, move around the object so I can just get it to feel right get it that smile, expand the shape of the eyes. And then I use this snake hook tool to uh, pull out the toes. And uh, yeah, I think we end up getting pretty close to the actual character's look. And then we start adding using the vertex colors, vertex paint, we can add some blue and the white for the belly. And then I just blend it and smooth it out. And then after blending that out, we select the tongue itself and mask that out so we can just paint that in pink. And then I do actually now use that. Uh, I tried messing with weight painting, but you can only use vertex groups, not uh, you can only use vertex colors, not vertex groups. So I end up using that as a mask for the material to create the subsurface. And then we add the little purple diamonds and I just blend those up a little bit. And then using some masks, we go and start adding some shapes, um, blend shapes. And uh, the grab tool and the uh, pose tool in the sculpt mode to get the shapes looking cool for the different poses. So I think I use about three different poses. One for his tongue out, one for a default pose, and then one for him sort of getting a little bit aggressive where he's on flame. The pose tool is really nice for just sort of curving up things. Sometimes it doesn't work with different models. Just play around with it. And then just to make him look a little bit angry, one of the expressions he does is when he gets angry, his little eyes slit up and then he, his eyebrows get a little bit intense. And then one of my favorite bits is I go into the node editor for the shaders and I find some noises just to make some scales make him a little bit more glossy and yeah if you're enjoying this definitely like and subscribe uh, I know people say it a lot but it helps a lot now if we get into the flames and uh, then I open up Embergen which is a really cool GPU accelerated uh, flame and explosion simulator smoke and all that um, I end up using the model itself to uh, emit flames and collide with them and then uh, mess around with the settings for the smoke itself. So you can really control a whole lot of different things. 
Um, I'm going to get into a bunch of different videos for this because it's a really, really cool tool um, and it's so fast to play with. So I just add some extra smoke coming off him so for some heat effects. And you can change all sorts of things, you know, like how much fire and smoke gets caused by fire. Um, you can just do plain smoke without any uh, combustion. You can do colored smoke and all sorts of things like that. It's really cool. So I just add some noise and stuff to make it feel like the flames from the actual character. And uh, once I got that right, then I can just export that into Blender and uh, recolor it using the uh, the volume shader thing. So it's this guy, purple smoke, pink purple smoke, your fire instead of the uh, you know normal flame colors over here. It's a really fun tool, and I would definitely say that you should play with it because it's really cool, and it's only going to get better. Um, currently, it only supports static meshes, but it is coming soon. Um, I was speaking to the dev, and he has tweeted as well, and he joined me on my Twitch and said a bunch of new features that are going to be coming with that. So definitely check those out. It's going to be really cool. It's worth keeping an eye on this tool. That is awesome stuff. Animated meshes, camera imports, backplate imports, simulation retiming. That's awesome. New UI, new renderer, and new sim tools. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I'm right on I stream three times a week on Twitch. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash photonwind. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays I do art streams, and then on the weekend I play around with some games. And there's a little bonus scene where I create a little animation of the eye lick. Um, basically the same process of shape keys and uh, curving the tongue around and licking the eyeball and depressing it a little bit when he licks it. Uh, the main little tip here is to just mask off areas so that when you use the tools you only affect the areas that you want. And uh, I just use shape keys because setting up a whole armature for this model would have taken a lot longer and I just wanted to create a really little quick project. I think overall the entirety of about four hours of footage. So it's a quick little four hour project and uh, just a little fun thing to mess with Emogen and have fun with. Um, if you like this sort of format, let me know. Or if you want me to go into more detail on how I do things, let me know in the comments because uh, I want to know what you want, want to see over here. Yeah, this was a, was a fun little project. Um, I enjoyed making it. If you want to see more stuff like this, check me on Twitch. And I'll be doing some more stuff with Embergen soon, so check out uh, and subscribe so you can see when I put out more videos. Um, liking and subscribing, everyone says that on YouTube, but it really does help with, you know, so uh, I'd appreciate that. And, uh, Comment if you enjoyed this, if you want to see more. And uh, a big thank you to my patrons because I'm trying to make this a real full-time career and uh, if you want to support me, I would really love it. Get a bunch of perks there and uh, check it out. So from you and Grail, thanks for joining in and I'll check you next time.